Hello and welcome wherever you're watching this Mass for Trinity 3. Welcome to the Liberated Catholic Community for Independence. It's very hot and we've all just been having a conversation about how amazing the heat is. And of course in the winter we complain about it being really cold. So human creatures as we are. I'm going to start the ritual by lighting candles and then I will go and finish vesting. But if you would like to partake in the time of communion, please do have bread, a wafer, juice or some wine to do that. And we pray and tr trust that the Holy Spirit will be among all of us, wherever we are, and at whatever time we are partaking of this meal together. Everyone is welcome at our altars. So feel free to just relax into listening and watching and praying, however it is that you approach. In the name of God, Creator, Christ, and Comforter. Amen. May God purify me that I may worthily proclaim thy service. In the strength of Christ do I repel all evil from this God's holy altar and sanctuary, and from this God's house where we worship. And I pray our heavenly parent that they will send the holy angel to build for us a spiritual temple through which God's strength and blessing may be poured forth upon all people through Christ, amen. Beloved, here present, now let us lay the foundations of our temple. Christ is our foundation and our chief cornerstone. We're no more strangers and foreigners but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God, and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, 
Jesus Christ being the chief cornerstone, in whom all the building fitly framed together groweth unto a holy temple in the Christ, in whom ye also are builded together for an habitation of God through the Spirit. Except Christ build the house, their labour is but lost that build it. The foundation of God standeth sure, having this seal, let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Christ is our foundation and our chief cornerstone. O God, thou hast created us to be immortal and made us to be an image of thine own eternity. Yet often we forget the glory of our heritage and wander from the path which leads to righteousness. But thou, O God, hast made us for thyself, and our hearts are ever restless till they find their rest in thee. Look with the eyes of thy love upon our manifold imperfections and pardon all our shortcomings, that we may be filled with the brightness of the everlasting light and become the unspotted mirror of thy power and the image of thy goodness. Through Christ. Amen. God the Parent, God the Christ, and God the Holy Ghost, bless, preserve, and sanctify you. God, in their loving kindness, look down upon you and be gracious unto you. God, absolve you from all your sins and grant you the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. With praise and with prayer shall our temple be built. To God alone be the glory. May that be blessed by God and his honour and shall be praised. Christ be with you, and with thy spirit. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, the undivided unity, eternal, immortal, invisible, to whom be honour and glory for ever and ever. Amen. O God, how excellent is thy name in all the world. Glory be to the parent, and to the Christ, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, the undivided unity, eternal, immortal, invisible, to whom be honour and glory for ever and ever. Amen. Glory 
be to God in the highest and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee, we give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O God, heavenly monarch, God, the almighty parent, O Christ, alone born of God, O Christ, indwelling light, offspring of the heavenly parent, whose wisdom mightily and sweetly ordereth all things. For forth thy love, thou whose strength upholdeth and sustaineth all creation, receive our prayer. Thou whose beauty shineth through the whole universe, unveil thy glory, for thou only art holy, thou only art the unifier, thou only, O Christ, with the Holy Ghost, art most high in the glory of the eternal God. Amen. Christ be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ. Amen. O God, monarch of angels, ruler of all the hosts of heaven, we praise and thank thee for the help which these thy radiant servants so joyously do render unto us, and pray that we may pattern after them in purity and zeal, through Christ. Amen. Teach us, O God, to see thy life in all peoples of thine earth, and so guide the nations into the understanding of thy laws, that peace and goodwill may reign upon earth, through Christ. Amen. The Epistle The portion of scripture appointed for the Epistle is taken from the 12th chapter of the book of Tobit, beginning at the 6th verse. And the angel said unto him, Bless God, praise him, and magnify him, and praise him for the things which he hath done unto you in the sight of all that live. It is good to praise God and exalt his name, and honourably to show forth the works of God. Therefore, do not slack to praise him. Do that which is good, and no evil shall touch you. A little with righteousness is better than much with unrighteousness. It is better to give alms than to lay up gold, for those that exercise alms and righteousness shall be filled with life. But they that sin are enemies to their own life. God hath sent me to heal thee and thy daughter, for I am Raphael, one of the seven holy angels, which present the prayers of the saints and go in and out before the glory of the Holy One. Then they were troubled and fell upon their faces, for they feared. But the angel said unto them, Fear not, for it shall go well with you. Not of any favour of mine, but of the will of our God I came. Therefore praise him forever and give him thanks, for I go up to him that sent me. Then they confessed the great and wonderful works of God, and how the angel of the Lord had appeared unto them. And they said, Blessed art thou, O God, blessed is thy name forever, and blessed are all thy holy angels. Here endeth the epistle. Thanks be, to God. Thanks be to God. They that loveth wisdom loveth life, and they that seek her early shall be filled with joy. 
Teach me, O God, the way of thy statutes, and I shall keep it unto the end. Give me understanding, and I shall keep thy law. Yea, I shall keep it with my whole heart. The path of the just is as the shining light, shining more and more unto the perfect day. The Munda. Cleanse my heart and my lips, O God, who by the hand of thy seraph didst cleanse the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal from thine altar. And in thy loving kindness so purify me that I may worthily pro proclaim thy holy gospel through Christ. Amen. May Christ be thy heart and on thy lips, that through thy heart the love of God may shine forth, and through thy lips. God's power be made manifest. Amen. Um, Christ be with you. And with thy spirit. The Holy Gospel is taken from the 24th chapter of the Gospel according to St. Luke, beginning at the 36th verse. Glory to be, O God. Jesus himself stood in the midst of them, and saith unto them, Peace be unto you. And he said, These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. Then opened he their understanding, that they might understand the scriptures, and said unto them, Thus it is written, and thus it behooved Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem, and ye are witnesses to all these things. Praise be to thee, O Christ. name of the Creator, and of the Christ, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. It's my job as priest at Mass to call in the angels, principally the angel of the presence. And in the liberal Catholic tradition, the congregation have a part to play in that as well, because they add their energy to that calling and the energy of the mass. But how do you preach about angels? I have an icon above the altar, and I don't know if you can see it, but it's the the Trinity icon. Is that okay if you can see? They were the three angelic presences that um, arrived to speak to Abram and Sarah. beings of flesh and blood who could eat the dinner that was prepared for them. And then, of course, later on, we hear that they go to Sodom to visit on God's business, and they were not accepted by the people there who, um, to put it mildly, were aiming to attack them and rape them.
those were very much flesh and blood beings working for God. But I sat in my chair earlier and I prayed, show me angels. And I opened my Bible, literally just opened it onto the book of Ezekiel, which has got to be one of the most scary, um, scary books if you want to uh, learn about angels. And I was uh, suitably um, impressed with the, with the message and um, suitably anxious too. Um, it, it might be an idea possibly if um, sometime, if you've got 10 minutes today, if you read the, the first, um, certainly the first few chapters of, of the book of Ezekiel. Because the angels that we read about there are creatures that are beyond anything that the prophet was used to seeing on earth. They were huge divine beings roaring about in space and it's not for nothing that this book has been interpreted as um, beings in some kind of extraordinary space vehicles. Now I beheld the living creatures, behold, one wheel upon the earth by the living creatures with his four faces. The appearance of the wheels and their work was like unto the colour of beryl, and the four had one likeness, and their appearance and the work was as it were a wheel in the middle of a wheel. When they went, they went upon their four sides, and they turned not when they went. As for their rings, they were so high that they were dreadful, and their rings were full of eyes round about them four. And when the living creatures went, the wheels went by them. And when the living creatures were lifted up from the earth, the wheels were lifted up. Whithersoever the spirit was to go, they went. Thither was their spirit to go. And the wheels were lifted up over against them. For the spirit of the living creature was in the wheels. And so it goes on. Terrifying for somebody who lived back in the day when they would not have ever experienced anything like that. Not in their imagination, not in physicality. I wonder if even in their dreams. We're so used to seeing pictures of angels now in shops and in books and in pictures. White wan creatures with wings who are sort of benignly beautiful. Of course, there are other images of angels, but those are, are quite common ones. And we see little cherubs with, you know, little little pink faces and bodies and putties that are, uh, are on the the walls and ceilings of, of the magnificent religious buildings, not only in Rome, but around the world. But when angels appear in the Bible, generally speaking, people are frightened. Gabriel, when he appeared to Mary, do not be afraid. When the angel hosts appeared before the shepherds, Fear not, we come with tidings of great joy. So, as a humble priest, when I say the words, 
and ask to call down the angel of the presence to help with the consecration, which as a human, I maybe can't do. I say that because obviously in other denominations and in my past priest, um, late, late pastoral role, I was doing communion in a very different way. And I don't doubt that the Spirit of God was in that meal. But this ritual is a slightly different one, even though the ending is possibly the same. I don't have the capability to see the angel. Others have seen it at our liberal Catholic altars. I feel a presence that is not me at communion. And when I say the words that bring down the whole company of heaven, which includes the elementals, the whole company of heaven, What would I feel if suddenly I was able to see those hordes, those legions, everything surrounding me, surrounding you, surrounding all of us? I would be afraid. So perhaps today, as I serve God and serve you through Mass, it's probably quite a good thing that although I have faith that there is a presence there ministering alongside us, I can't see that presence myself. Amen. Now to eternal God, the Creator, God the Christ, God the Holy Ghost. Three persons in one God be ascribed as is most justly due. All honour, might, majesty, power and dominion. Now, henceforth and forevermore. Amen. We believe that God is love and power and truth and light, that perfect justice rules the world, that all God's children shall one day reach God's feet however far they stray. We hold the parenthood of God, the unity of all creation. We know that we do serve God best when best we serve others. So shall God's blessing rest on us and peace forevermore. Amen. Christ be with you. With thy spirit. We adore thee, O God, who art the source of all life and goodness, and with true and thankful hearts we offer unto thee this token of thine own life-giving gifts, bestowed upon us, thou who art the giver of all.
bullied him memorial costume and ran its water with his wine, praying that we may ever more abide in Christ and Christ in the earth. We offer unto thee, O God, this chalice with joy and gladness. May the worship which we offer ascend before thy divine majesty as a sacrifice pure and acceptable in thy sight. Through Christ. Amen. As this incense rises before thee, O God, so let our prayer be set forth in thy sight. Let thy holy angels encompass thy people and breathe forth upon them the spirit of thy blessing. May God enkindle within us the fire of divine love and the flame of everlasting charity. I will wash my hands in innocency, O Lord, and so will I go to thine altar, that I may show the voice of thy giving and tell of all thy wondrous work. Lord, I have loved the habitation of thy house, and the place where thine honour dwelleth. My foot standeth right, I will praise the Lord in the congregation. Glory be to the and to the Christ, and to the Lord, as it was in the beginning, is now, where the shall be, and the prayer of the Lord. Amen. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God Almighty. May God receive the sacrifice at my hands and sanctify our lives in God's service. Let us pray. We lay before thee, O God, these thy creatures of bread and wine, in token of our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. For here we offer and present unto thee ourselves, our souls and bodies, to be a holy and continual sacrifice unto thee. May our strength be spent in thy service, and our love poured forth upon thy people, thou who lives for ever and ever. Amen. Christ be with you, and with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto God. Let us give thanks unto God. It is meet and right so to do. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O unity, holy parent, almighty, everlasting God. Therefore, with angels, and archangels, with thrones, dominations, dominions, virtues, powers, with cherubim and seraphim, and with all the company of heaven. We laud and magnify thy glorious name, 
evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O God most high. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of God. Hosanna in the highest. O oh God, these our oblations have served as tokens and channels of our love and devotion towards thee. But now we pray thee to receive, to purify, and to hallow them as earthly channels of thy wondrous power. We desire to offer this holy sacrifice especially for thy holy Catholic Church for our sovereign King Charles and all that are put in authority under him, myself, your unworthy servant, for all our clergy and faithful, for those here present and for all who in this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness or any other adversity, especially for those who mourn. pray for those who we know are mourning at this time. We pray especially today for the people of Ukraine and those in Russia and in the countries surrounding the borders. Those who are in any way in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity. Likewise, do we offer it for all those, thy children, whom it is pleased thee to deliver from the burden of the flesh, especially for those that we know personally, for those. that are known by others, for those who have died with only the angels surrounding them. For all who have died in the last 24 hours, that freed from earthly toil and care, they may enjoy the felicity of thy presence evermore praising thee in word and deed, O God everlasting, living and true. Wherefore, our holy unity, almighty, everlasting God, we pray thee to look down on and accept as a channel these offerings, with thy holy spirit and word, to bless, approve and ratify them, that they may become for us Christ's most precious body and blood. who the day before Christ suffered. They took bread unto their holy and venerable hands, with their eyes lifted up to heaven, to thee, God, their almighty parent, giving thanks to thee, Christ blessed, break, and gave it to their disciples, saying, Take and eat ye all of this, for this is my body. In like manner, after Christ had supped, taking also this noble chalice into their holy and venerable hands, again, giving thanks to thee, Christ blessed it and gave it to their disciples, saying, Take and drink ye all of this, for this is my blood.
As oft as ye shall do these things, ye shall do them in remembrance of me. Be we adore, O oh, hidden splendor, thee, who in thy sacrament doth deign to be. We worship thee beneath this earthly veil, and hear thy presence we devoutly fail. Oh, come, all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Oh, come ye, oh, come ye to Bethlehem. Come and behold them, monarch of the angels. Oh, come, let us adore. Oh, come, let us adore. Oh, come, let us adore them. Christ the Word. Yea, Christ, we greet thee. Throne head on thine altar. Ever to thee be highest glory. Word of creation, splendor everlasting. Oh, come, let us adore. Oh, come, let us adore. Oh, come, let us adore. Then Christ the Word. Wherefore, Heavenly Parent, we, thy humble servants, bearing in mind the ineffable sacrifice of Christ, do offer unto thee this, the most precious gift which thou hast bestowed upon us, in token of our love, and of the perfect devotion and sacrifice of our minds and hearts to thee. We pray that thou wouldst command thy holy angel to bear our oblation to thine altar on high, there to be offered by them who, as the eternal High Priest, forever offers themselves as the eternal sacrifice. And we do pray for thy servant who ministers at this altar, that meekly celebrating the mysteries of the most holy body and blood of Christ, they may be filled with thy mighty power and blessing. Likewise, we pray thee to sanctify thy people here present with these thy heavenly gifts, and through these mysteries do thou hallow, quicken, and bless them, that both in their hearts and in their lives they may show forth thy praise and glorify thy holy name. All these things do we ask, O God, in the name and through the mediation of thy most blessed Christ. For we acknowledge and confess with our hearts and lips that by them were all things made. Yea, all things both in heaven and earth. With them as the indwelling life do all things exist. And in them as the transcendent glory all things live and move and have their being. To whom with thee, O mighty God, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, be ascribed all honour and glory throughout the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray. Loving Creator who is within us, we celebrate your many names. Your wisdom come, your will be done, unfolding from the depths within us. Each day you give us all that we need. You remind us of our limits and we let go. You support us in our power and we act with courage. For you are the dwelling place within us, the empowerment around us and the celebration among us. 
now and forever. Amen. Here do we give unto thee, O Christ, most high praise and hearty thanks for the wonderful grace and virtue declared in the Holy Lady Mary. St. John the Baptist, whose day was yesterday, and in all thy glorious saints from the beginning of the world, who have been the choice vessels of thy grace and a shining light unto many generations. And we join with them in worship before thy great white throne. Whence flow all love and light and blessing through all the worlds which thou hast made. O Christ, offspring of God, who shows thyself this day upon a thousand altars, and yet up one and indivisible, in token of thy great sacrifice, we break this, thy body, praying that by this action ordained from of old, thy strength, thy peace, and thy blessing, which thou dost give us in this holy sacrament, may be spread abroad upon thy world. And as thou, O Christ, was made known to thy disciples in the breaking of bread. So may thy many children know themselves to be one in thee, even as thou art one with God. Amen. The peace of God be always with you with thy spirit. O thou who in this adorable sacrament has left us a living memorial and pledge of thy marvellous love for us all, and dost therein graciously draw us into wondrous and mystic communion with thee. Grant us so to receive the sacred mysteries of thy body and blood, that our souls may be lifted into the immensity of thy love, and that being filled with an high endeavour, we may ever be mindful of thine indwelling presence, and breathe forth the fragrance of a holy life. You that desire to partake of the mysterious body and blood of our Lord Christ, draw now and receive this most holy sacrament and blessing. Blood of our Lord Christ, keep you in eternal life. Blood of our Lord Christ, keep you in eternal life.
and the veil of earthly things. Now have we communion with Jesus Christ. Soon with open face shall we behold them and rejoicing in their glory be made like unto them. Then shall all true disciples be brought by them with exceeding joy before the presence of their heavenly parents' glory. Amen. Blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honour and power and might be unto our God for ever and ever. Amen. We who have been refreshed with thy heavenly gift, do pray thee, O God, that thy grace may be so grafted inwardly in our hearts that it may continually be made manifest in our lives. Through Christ. Amen. Christ be with you. And with thy spirit. Ita me sad, Deo gratia. The peace of God, which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of Christ and the blessing of God, the unity, the almighty parent, the Christ and the Holy Ghost be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. May the holy ones whose pupils we aspire to become Show us the light we seek and give us the full aid of their compassion and their wisdom. There's a peace that passes understanding. It abides in the hearts of those who live in the eternal. There's a power that makes all things new. It lives and moves in those who know the self as one. May that peace brood over us. That power uplift us till we come where the one initiator is invoked till we see that star shine forth. 